everybody. Welcome to Bitch Sesh. It's Danielle Schneider. Sadly, Casey Wilson is not here this evening. R.I.P. Case. R.I.P. <laughs> Casey. It's so dark that that's yeah. become our saying yeah. because she's alive and well. And yet, here we are. R.I.P. <laughs> Casey. I promise you she will be back next week. Um, but in her stead to take place in her in her untimely passing oh god <laughs> sorry <laughs> guys Casey's alive and well that's, that's why we are joking uh, but that's um such. in her in her to take the understudy role if you will and make it a starring role we have Deanna Chang here hi hi Deanna it's been a while since you've been on it has been too long I know when you asked me to come I was like finally no I know oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm kidding no I feel like I love I just enjoy coming to the bitch set oh, we've missed well, you yeah I think you and I the last time I was filling in for yes, you. Yes, you were filling in for me. It really wasn't that long ago. I was, so let's... I was like, what have you been up to? Any any new things? Oh, gosh. Well, I have my show on Send up on the World Wide Web. Yes, tell everybody a little bit about it. Is that what you're asking? Or sure. So hold well, now I am. I, I, now okay, I'm plugging. Seems, okay, I didn't okay. know I was, but here I am. Um, you know, just it's Paul Shear mentioned it on Watch What Watch What Happens Live after show. Yes. With Andy the other day. And it was truly a thrill. Andy was like, Oh, that's a great idea. Blah blah blah. It's with Joel Kim Booster and oh, Yes, Patty who was Harrison, just on a few weeks ago, with, who we love. Just babe. Yes. Um it's just a show about internet and all the goings on that happen, all the So you explain foibles. the internet on the we show? Explain the internet. We we dig through the <laughs> Uh -huh. We dig through the internet. We mm. find the problems. This show was really a. It was birthed from Morning Daniel. Just <gasps> FYI. No, stop it, that's Morning true. Daniel. Yes, that's where that was when Matt and I did a live show, which turned into a Snapchat show. Uh huh. But uh, and now here we are at a web series currently. So ten. What What is my cut? Okay. Is I guess so. What I am that ten percent fifteen gotten really clear on but just i want you to feel the cut in your heart is that okay like no. a heart cut certainly not mm. okay so cutting we'll, my heart to pieces <laughs> that i'm not being a little given firmer. money because guess what this valley house doesn't pay for itself <laughs> <laughs> this house in the valley ain't gonna pay for itself actually it is um i will say going back to paul sheer our good friend Paul Shear on Watch What Happens Live the other night, Erica Jane was gripping his I hand so as upset. if they were affianced. Mm -hmm. Did June have thoughts about it? Miss June Diane have thoughts about it? I mean, it? I certainly had thoughts Did about you? it. And I texted him immediately. I was like, she is being extremely handsy. I'm yes. like, I've got my eyes on you, as Erica I Jane. Noticed. And yes. I mean, honestly, if if Erica Jane, because I am slightly in love with Erica Jane I do feel as if she sort of like grabbed my husband I would be like I I I think it would just say like oh I have good taste like I think yeah. it would to me be like oh I've made a good choice and Erica Jane agrees with my choice I hear and, you I think gentlemen. like the first six grabs I was maybe feeling that in but the then end, they were kept full on going. holding hands yeah I mean it was a lot <laughs> and I just will always be watching okay Erica. I'll always be you'll watching. always be watching you've got that's right you're very protective of your sister Miss June and and yeah I, mean, I would hope you would be for now. me like I've I will always if I see something I'm gonna say something, see something you say know something. and that's that yeah no yeah. I appreciate it well, it's good to know that you've got your eyes on Erica. On Erica, and you're coming for her if I have to. I believe you would hurt of course. her. Oh, I, I believe you hurt. would take her down. Well, that's here's the thing. I'm always ready to fight, <laughs> but I can't fight, and it's quite a combination. Have you ever gotten in a fight? One time. What happened? I got my ass kicked. <laughs> By who? By a child. <laughs> How old were you? A child. Okay. <laughs> yeah. no. I was like going into ninth grade, and uh, this girl was going into <laughs> seven. Oh, um, that's a so tough, tough, tougher. Uh, range but uh -huh. yeah she she said something about my sister not june lauren uh -huh. but um that's like you know and i was like and i said something back and she mm -hmm. proceeded to kick my ass oh. I was like, oh ow ow okay <laughs> ow, ow, ow. what moves did you throw out my initial move was a strong move okay i took her and threw her on the ground. <laughs> so it started out nice and yeah, strong. You started out with a big gesture. She was a big girl, okay. strong girl. Mm -hmm. And she proceeded, Laura Corvetti, <laughs> uh, she proceeded to just pummel me. And I was like, With fists? Oh, yeah, legs, fists. She goes like, ah! And I just like, I truly ran away. <laughs> 
And I got home and I told my dad and he was like, oh, next time, three buttons down, you hit it right in the solar plexus. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. Wow, Deanna. I would hope that you would get pummeled for me. And I think You're, you would. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I, I will not engage in a fight. I mean, I, I'll, I'll yell at any stranger mm -hmm. on the street mm -hmm. for sure and sure. have done so from the safety of my car. But <laughs> And to be clear, I would not try to kick her. Jane's ass. Oh. I would just say to her, hands off. Hands off. That's oh. it. Well, I'm so glad to have you as my I'm co-host. So I'm very excited about our guest this evening. I'm a fan. She's very funny. I met her the other day and she didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching her from afar. She's so funny. She's gorgeous too. And I hope that doesn't come off as strange. <laughs> 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 She is one of the stars of the new, well, not even new show, second season show, AP Bio on NBC. She's also been on Drunk History and Baskets and so many other things. Please welcome Lyric Lewis. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Lyric. everybody. I'm so excited to have you here. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited <laughs> to be here. We were just talking because we were at a show reading the other day, and Andy yes. Garcia was there. <sighs> and he was... Let me tell you, Ooh. I mean, <laughs> don't worry about that man <laughs> and his beautiful life. I mean, wow. You Ooh. said he had like crumbs on his shirt and he was still. Yes, he was eating a breakfast pastry and just, <laughs> when I eat a breakfast pastry, I'm overly conscious about it. I've got napkins, I'm watching oneself, I'm asking people to check in oneself, make sure I don't have crumbs on my face or my shirt. He dribbled some crumbs, and they were the sexiest mm. crumbs. Mm. I'm sure the croissant was next level because <laughs> he was eating it. And he just was so, like, didn't have a care on the could have cared less. I know. The he rest of us would look like fools with crumbs, and he was just like, so what? Yeah. I got to say, and I know I sound like an old lady when I say this, and perhaps because I am, but I was like, he's still got it. Yeah. <laughs> like, he does. Yes. But he I thought the right? exact same thing while he was reading. Like, I was like, he took his time. With Oof. those scripts, and I was like, he still got like I'm like the rest of us was like eh, next line, right? And he was just like sitting it, drinking everyone in, letting us drink him in. Oh, yeah. like the horchata that <laughs> 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 and then delivering his lines. It was it was great. It was it, what a time to be alive. It wow. really was. We both and so I was watching both of you, and <laughs> you would know it. I was like a little. Peeping Tom, peeping both of you. I mean, and you were great in it too. Thank you. You're so funny on AP Bio. Thank you. So great. I um, I write sometimes on It's Always Sunny, so I know Glenn a bit. <gasps> yes, yes, yeah. And um, so I came for Glenn, but stayed for you. Hello, hello. <laughs> you know what? And that's what I like to hear. And Jean mm -hmm. Villapique is a friend. And I love who Jean. I adore. Sweet baby Jean. Oh yeah. Everyone's just like, yeah. It's it's great. So you're a housewives fan i am how did you you know i asked this when when new friends come to the podcast how Ooh. did you come to the housewives you know what i don't even remember like i feel like because i came to the housewives i'm a i'm an atl housewife fan oh, i course. love atlanta it's so well who doesn't who do, and i feel like i came to atlanta early yeah i feel like i started from like because like <laughs> <laughs> for some reason just like the wig thing with Kim was like very oh, early on yeah. and I think it was just so intriguing because I was like who is this white woman in wig <laughs> like I was like I think it was the first time that <laughs> on a mass level it was right. like oh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. like wh who is this <laughs> so right away it hooked me and then like you know Nene and Jeray like all of them were there like then and it was just so, but like, yeah, from the beginning, like early, I was just like, oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. And right away, I was always like, I could do this. I could sit and drink wine and eat like finger foods and like roll my eyes at people. Like, <laughs> like a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Do you miss Sheree? I miss Sheree. I do. I do. She, pe pe some people are like, no, good riddance. I no. miss her every day. I, I miss her and I miss Kenya. Oh, I miss Kenya like, so much. I'm not like, I know that, you know. They might have been messy boots or whatever, but I feel like they served a purpose. Oh, like Kenya sure. gave you the tea so real. Sheree was collecting bones, collecting receipts, delivering them, calling you out. And it's like, you need people like that. Of course. Because when it's too like, not kumbaya, but when it's too right. like everyone, like it's just getting saucy. And I'm like, with Sheree and Kenya, it was sauce from episode one. Like, Especially because we, and we didn't even have Nini for oh. a few seasons. And I was okay because we had mm. them. We had right? Sheree and we had Kenya. 
And, and how about Phaedra? Do we miss? Oh, I miss Phaedra. I miss Phaedra. I, miss I mean, Phaedra I know too. Dungeon Gate happened with yes. Phaedra. But look at what it's have. look at what There's it a has tour. brought us. I want to go on the tour. They candy too. release the dates. Is she? D- I would go with you. Can we, She's I want coming to, to LA. To. Is she? <laughs> the dungeon is coming to LA. Don't worry. I went online as soon as I saw the dungeon was a real thing, and I'm like, but we would not have the dungeon without Phaedra. We wouldn't even have a dungeon exactly. tour. So exactly. I mean, she did bring us something. That, well, is, that candy is what I love about her brilliance. Candy. You know, yes. she takes lemons and, and makes, makes lemonade yeah. all the time. Old lady gang, look. I mean, she's I mean, a biz. She is, and I one. yes. Even though she doesn't bring drama all the time i feel like i learned from candy oh i was just gonna say that she's the only one in all of the cities who has real money like money and her own like it is candies like todd is hanging out yes yes Todd is a great dad he is fun, but that is candy, candy coated nights. Yes. Candy sex toys, candy, candy, candy. And all the candy. music. Like, candy has the most money out of anybody is I've that true? in Beverly Hill. Yes. I love Do you know that? I don't know okay, that. No, but I, I know it in my heart. I know it in my heart. You know it. You've crunched mental but I feel numbers. Like she has and I think you have to be right. With the songwriting and right. all of exactly. that. Like, candy right. goes. I mean, she wrote No Scrubs. Exactly. Like that just by right. itself is. Right. Because even Vanderpump, who probably has the next right, most yeah. real money, restaurants come and go. And they're expensive. You know what I mean? And they're expensive. And when they die, there's a lot of money mm-hmm. you got to put into, into them. It. Music. Candy. She's just making Set money. Set it and forget it. Off yeah. Of it. Set it and forget it. <laughs> <laughs> just so listen. shall we talk okay. Atlanta in this mm. week's episode, guys? I, love to. I mean, Marlo. <sighs> Now, I'm so sorry, but I just want to say, Marlo has met the last two episodes, She to me, uh-huh. I go, I have her look, she looks stunning to me. Though. Am I yeah. alone? Yeah. No. Okay. She Gorgeous. looks yes. stunning. Yes. Gorgeous. Like, I feel like something soft. Well, I also think, remember in Tokyo, her bags got lost. Oh, okay. So when we, so she didn't have oh, anything. Yeah. She had like, what? she said no, she didn't right, even right. have an underwear. Right, she was right, washing right. her underwear. So we were looking. Thing. But even pre, any, t- I'm talking about ever historic. This is the best I've ever. And she then, looks gorgeous. Not, this isn't what we need to focus on. And I we, just want to get that out. we got to be in her house, which, which makes me laugh about Marlo's house. Did you, did everyone catch the mannequin? In her kitchen, I don't think it's <laughs> I didn't. I, How could we? But it? also, it's so Marlo. Like I I'm not know. surprised. We're yeah. just like, oh, we didn't see it. Yeah, <laughs> like just like well, there's so I don't know. There's a lot to gaze upon. So yeah. so yes, but there is a a mannequin like like in a you know a Bloomingdale's if you okay. will like it. it like dressed fully dressed in like some gorgeous piece of fashion of you know but, and I That's was so funny I was like I like that choice yeah <laughs> I yes. appreciate that mm-hmm. choice I wish I had made that choice yes. <laughs> and of course Marla did for of all of course. us hers she's just so bold I love her yeah, I, I love like her. Marlo I love I love Marlo and the more we've seen it because I was worried that because she she still doesn't have a peach, does she? No, no, she's a friend. I know. Well, because I was worried because we are seeing so much more of her. I was like, oh, is a little bit of Marlo a good way to go? But the more, more we get, the more I get, the more the more I like. I love it, even though from her Instagram post, uh huh, she said coming. she says she don't need no peach because her bag she makes on her own is double the bag of the peach. So I said, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, Marlo. You mean her Bravo bag? No, like her, just personal, her money. like her, her money. Her she her says her own personal money and is double the peach. And where is that coming from? From her and Eva's bout. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. Her and Eva, you know, their fight. Their yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. So she's got money from that? No, she's no. just saying, no, like, that's no. where, like, the, but oh, where's, where's her, her money coming? Where's that's, her bag That's the thing, because I think that, like, even though they tried to be like, where's your, like, we, we got a peach and you ain't got one. And she was like, oh, honey, I don't need a peach. And you but believe that. I don't know because like yeah. she says she has stores okay. and fashions. That's we don't we, we don't see we would every see a store at this point in our journey, right? I'm very I'm dying to know. I would I mean we've seen candy stores, we've seen we would mini stores. stores. We'd Marlo had a store. I think How we would be, we not know. I don't know because I don't even know people that have posted have been like, I've been to her store no. and it's great. Like they have? No, I said oh, I don't yeah, even know people that have. So it's like so. I think this store doesn't exist. I do think <laughs> <laughs> she was like Marlo LLC something, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And I so like, she, that's her business. I do think her business she has to pull out nine nine for sure. <laughs> she does. Yeah, she does. She does. I mean, I think when I first met her, her business, it was alluded to, is 
older gentlemen. That was her yes. business. And she said she shot that down in the Instagram post I saw. Okay. And she said people have been saying that for years. And okay. she said unless you have receipts, then that is not true. Okay. She wants receipts. So, But then I would say back to Marlo, yeah. I'll do. Mm-hmm. Where are the receipts? For the literal store. receipts. Yeah, I love <laughs> store. Literally. Like, like if it's just a receipt or what they do at a Someone store. who has bought a blouse. Yeah. yeah. Or just a receipt. Or just like the storefront. Yes. Yeah. Or like a, the brick and mortar or like a picture of like the, the web page. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All would be accepted i'll take like a paper bag with a stamp that just <laughs> shows like marlo's boutique like i'll take that just yeah. something that indicates or even just like that you've opened a business you have to sign papers right. when you okay. yeah. or at least stuck yeah. you know, just, I'm, I'm dying to know i take even just like a, a napkin from like the store like just <laughs> a business something. card a business it's card, business card. People, everyone card. has. If you have a business, for sure. Card. Have a business card. Our website. Mm-hmm. I mean, I Anything. have a business card. At one point, I made a business yeah. card, guys, <laughs> and I, again, I do not have a brick and mortar mm-hmm. business of any type, and really just an actor and a writer. And <laughs> you at one point, I had business. Cards. I did. Did I you do? What did the little say? mini ones? <gasps> what did you say? It was just like Lyric Lewis, um, comedic actress. <laughs> And then your number. <laughs> An improviser in my email address. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think my, and my headshot was on the other side. Oh, That's I love enough. that. I think I didn't even spring for the headshot. I thought my I think mine was like one of the four designs that they like oh, gave uh-huh. me. Mm-hmm. I might have might have been a sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money that went out in paper goods <laughs> in the in the early 2000s oh, yeah. is shocking <laughs> for an actor I in this town. Oh, oh yeah. me too. Yeah. And I'm like weirdly superstitious because I'm from New Orleans. Yeah. And so like I won't like I can't get rid of them because mm-hmm. they're pictures. Uh-huh. So like I have like boxes of headshots that I'm like, I don't know what I'm like. Yeah. Oh, man. I know, but, but you like, have to be buried with them. <laughs> I will be like, <laughs> it's always so sad to me when you go to like it's always apartment complexes. It's uh-huh. always the mega ones. It's always by the dumpster when you see like 50 headshots oh. of someone's headshot like, oh. that didn't make it into the trash. Oh. And it's just like John oh. Smith. And you feel bad. And I'm like, I want to pick them up and throw them away for him. But then I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, that's gross. It came out the trash. But I'm like. Everyone has to look at his headshot on the ground. Like, it's it's brutal. It's They're, literally soul crushing. I mean, crushing. <laughs> I mean <laughs> food out of the trash. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Picking up headshots. Oh, I pick up anything. I've truly eaten food out of a trash can. So I don't skeeve yeah. either. I mean, I haven't eaten food out of a trash can, but I don't have that skeeve factor. Yeah. I'm pretty open I'll pull to anything picking. out of a trash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pull anything about out of my trash. Out of your trash? Oh, I've gone like... Into but a like dumpster. A, and when you say that, I, do we need to just, what are you, you're joking, right? No, I no? pull things out of the trash. But food? And eating it? Well, when I worked in a restaurant, yes. Okay. Oh, because you knew that trash can. Well, yeah. I mean, if someone dumped a plate of fries in the trash, you're I'm in. Like, Hold a bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold a hot sec for that brownie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they only yeah. took a bite out of one side. Oh, my God. I'm going to cut that other half. Okay. I'm like, I'm a garbage yeah. mouther. Good. <laughs> I hey. eat from the garbage. Hey. You know what? I mean, look. Those were the old days. Yeah. Would I do it now? No. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhaps. Um, so back to Atlanta. Sorry okay. to talk about that. But mm. now, do you remember when Shamari was in the salt room? Do you guys remember when Shamari was in the salt room? Her and her husband were relaxing uh-huh. in that salt room. Does anyone know what a salt room is? They were doing some sort of spa activity, and they said the salt room is so relaxing. I, I just feel like, don't you just like breathe it in i don't i've never I been like to one to, or? like at korean spots mm-hmm. here oh so it's just like himalayan sea salt and you just like lay or sit and it's like warm but you just like it's supposed to like detox you via 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 uh-huh. the air so you just like are breathing it in and like but the salt minerals do something I've to your body. I've never done that before. I was like, what are they doing? I was so just like, I want in on this, but yeah. I didn't know what it was. You're supposed to lay in it and just like breathe in the ambiance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's another thing I'd like to ask. Um, oh, speaking of Marlo, Marlo just greeting everybody in her wa- in her crest white strips. <laughs> <laughs> like, as she's like, drink, like taking them out, exactly. and I'm like, oh, sorry. And it's like. I it's mean, I so love that, like, I love her, though, that's that. what I mean. It's like the cameras are rolling, rolling. and she's still got on the crest white strips. She's still I just, real. And I doesn't take it to the bathroom, just rips them no, right off. right there. And I'm like, you got that gel on your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> we all know what that gel yeah. is. <laughs> no, I was impressed by that moment. It like, was fun. And that's why I love Housewives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Because they live out loud That's in right. a way the rest of the world does, does not, not right? yes and i'm so excited i'm so like people are sometimes are like why do you watch this garbage television like yeah. but i'm like no like this is what i'm here for people mm-hmm. being 
I know they say it's fake, but they're more real sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. for for moments like that, not yeah. to get all philosophical here, but it was a beautiful moment. <laughs> good scene, good scene. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about is that um, Eva's bridesmaid choked her wedding planner. <laughs> and why didn't we get that footage yeah. on camera? I would love that. I mean, the bridesmaids were just quite the kerfuffle for yeah. Eva's wedding, like spilling all the tea that now everyone is trying to decipher what's true and what's not. Yeah, Which I was like, crazy. why didn't we get some of that on camera, though? Yeah, like, it seems to yeah. have happened at the wedding. I, I don't like when Bravo does us a little dirty like that, when it's like, why, it, why aren't cameras everywhere? Right. Well, exactly, they did that with Beltgate. Yes. As I call it. What hap Do you have any theories about Beltgate? I mean, I feel like, and I don't want to, I mean, the theory I feel like I have is like, it's, it's like a sad theory, but I feel like it had to have been that in the closet, mm -hmm. because who was in there? Portia, Candy, Nini, Nini. That like somehow Nini must have thought she was grabbing a cameraman or something. Grabbed Portia or grabbed the back of that dress and pulled off her belt. In oh. with, with it being so fast, because for Portia to be like, I don't want to talk about it, but yeah. it was something with the belt or whatever. And I'm like, that had to be what happened. That it was fast, but because Portia is pregnant, yes. it's a different thing than like yeah. grabbing the body totally. of like just a woman yes. who's not yes. with child. Portia's like big and pregnant and I feel like that had to have happened especially because like they will not show it right. unless we get it at the reunion because after Nini unfollowed everybody from the reunion yes. that's why I'm like is that what we see or right. like what but what happened like no but it's not like Nini meant to no. grab a pregnant woman but at the same time like the fact that anybody laid hands on anybody Anyone. especially yeah. in a area where there is a prank you know what i mean it's like that's what yeah. i think it was i think in the heat of the moment nini was already having a day yeah, she as was. we yeah. all saw so i think that just in a split second of like get out get out get out i asked you to get out i told you i'm like right. maybe it was just that wow. that it happened before anyone thought about it but because portia was pregnant it's like it happened and it happened to you Wow. Like, okay. I, now I feel like that's what happened. I don't, you know, you, you're saying it with conviction. So I'm, I'm like, like it, what else would it be with the bell? Like, wow. I know they, I mean, everybody clammed yeah. up. And yeah. you never and see I, these ladies clam up. I think it has to do with also Nini is in such a spot. She really is. And it was at that time. And, and yeah, I think your theory is dead on. What do you make of the Greg and Nini of it all and sort of the drama on camera and off camera right now? It makes me so like, Sad yeah, me too. That, you know, because I feel like I love Greg and me I've loved too. him throughout all the seasons, and like I love their relationship. And, and just, she truly loves him, yeah. I believe. But to see them go through this, especially because he is sick, and it's like it just makes me so sad. Like whatever, it's so funny because I feel like in the other seasons that like with the drama, yeah. like you enjoy, but whatever it gets to Nene mm -hmm. and Greg, I'm just like, oh man, I like know. I get so bummed out because I'm like, this is just real. Sad. It is. I feel the same way. Yeah. And also, like, I also get upset when people get mad at Nini or say things like, you know, right. why are you still partying? Or like, but it's like, you have no idea what you she's going You have no idea what she's going through. Uh, there have been times I know that I've said like, hey, Greg, you know, should not be in Miami with yeah. you or like don't have a party when Greg's upstairs. <laughs> so like, well, let yeah. Greg rest. Yes. And she but said it. She's not yes. a great caretaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not her but area. I also believe that like she also deserves like to have some outlets mm -hmm. for yeah. because to be with someone who is sick, like you're that to be a caretaker oh, is such brutal. a huge job and such a, you know, and a burden we take on yeah. as loving people. But it's so huge that like she deserves, she deserves a break. And I think exactly. also to do it on camera, which I think is different where she yeah. has the added complication of knowing that she'll be judged regardless mm -hmm. of what yes. she does that I feel like she probably needs a break more than anyone. That's like, she knows if she fix him a plate of food, somebody's going to comment and be like, well, that was a sloppy put together plate if my husband used it. <laughs> it would be the bigger, you know, whatever, where she has to like yes. know already in her brain, know that that has to be coming. Yeah. And I do think that we have seen Greg snip. And but I do not think we've seen him be extremely vicious to her. And I think that's happened. And you can tell by that exchange that they had and the way he took in the information of how she was feeling that. And, and I loved what he said. He's like, I don't even know he's fighting for his life, yeah, you yeah. know, and they both are at, they're both out at sea yeah. in this. And, but I think she's gone through it with him. I think so. I mean, I feel like you, you can tell. Yeah. 
like you can tell that we aren't seeing everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. On the other end of the spectrum, though, with Eva, why is it so bad in the housewives worlds to rent? I know. You know, like everyone, none of the biggest like insult. I've rented most of my life Mm -hmm. and I've never felt shame and maybe I should have. But like, what? What? I know. Why is that? I guess it's that like you don't have the cash to put down. Yeah. But I don't think Eva like, you know, Dorit is in financial struggles as we've seen, yes. and she acts like she, it's like she's loaded. Eva doesn't act like no, she's she loaded. Does not. Right. Well, you know, I she don't... did have a wedding that was okay, insane, On camera. and mm-hmm. but there was to spend like two hundred dollars a person and fo- and to invite all those people like yeah, that, that is yeah. crazy. Fiscally irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. that any of these women are fiscally responsible, but right. yes, I will say like Eva's not our high fashion right of the ladies of all the housewives. Like she's giving us some boho looks right. that I'm not loving. But apparently, um, she said they're all labeled. Yes, yeah, she did say they're all labeled. That fight. Yeah, oh, that fight. That was the fight. Okay, of the century. Derek, did you? Th- I don't know if you heard Danielle and Casey and Roxanne and Gay. Roxanne Gay. <laughs> they did a, a cold read of, of that the scene. actual scene oh and the God. actual dialogue. And I will not leave this house without a printed out copy of that <laughs> because I heard things in there that. Yeah, well, the text really oh, comes to life. Oh, my God. It's so fun. Like, I had to rewatch that yeah. Yeah. so when, many times. When she's screaming, bre- when Marlo's screaming, bre- and, and Roxanne did it for uh-huh. us, when she was like, breast feed, uh-huh. like just screaming at breast her breast feed. feed. Cigarettes kill. Like, oh. all, like just the one liners yes. of like, like it was like, what? And it went on for so, and I love my favorite was just their tour guide that just like the cutaways <laughs> yeah. to her and her just being like, never I, again. Never. Never. Oh. I, the line that did me in was when <laughs> Eva said that that Marlo couldn't wear something because her ass wasn't set up like that. Oh. <laughs> She's like, the way your ass is set up, like just that like, concept. Set like, up by way, God. By God, the way he set it up. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. It's like the bones of the house. Yeah. The like, and your bones where <laughs> the structure the, is not. The foundation, oh, the foundation of it all of is, your is ass not going to allow for that. Wow. It was, That's, if someone said that to me, I'd just I'd take it. I'd ask the earth to swallow me. Yes. <laughs> just and be like, I come wonder, get me. is Marlo engaging in this like this tea Mm -hmm. right because she got read so hard by Eva oh maybe because Eva low-key read her for film like Eva (laughs) like I think I forgot the hair product she said okay Uh but when she that'll be in the out that like it's in the text but like she said it everybody was like oh (gasps) because that's like okay like a a hair product like it's like is it like a dollar store kind of hair product or no no? but it just is hilarious to say okay like if you have good wigs, you don't wear that. Like, it's one of those that's oh, like wow. a, get your pro style of gel. Like, it's like at Walgreens. Like, it's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me hold my edges. Yeah. Like, let me taper my edges down. This forces oh, all of us God. to look in the mirror. And I mean, I was like, yeah, you had to grab your own edges. I, did. I was like, mine are going yeah. with the wind. <laughs> like, I was like, mine is twirled off. Shout out to Kenya. Twirled. <laughs> but, yeah, but as far as the renting, yeah, I do. Th- and I feel like it also, I feel like it's this thing. Because even when it was like Chateau Charay yes. versus more manner. Yes. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, I don't know why it's this thing of like who owns what in these ginormous houses. Huge. All of these cars that I'm like, or is anybody really owning this? Because I'm also like, wh- like it's so opulent. But I'm like, where y'all going? Like so much, I'd be like, where is anyone going? <laughs> or why do you need to? Like, yeah, I, I really. Why think- do you need like for Sheree to build a house that big when her kids are basically grown? grown like so grown yeah. to build. Like I'm like, what are we doing? That's what I was yeah. like. Like even Portia, like in Portia's house is like amazing. Yeah, and now she has little PJ in there. Yes. Pilar, uh, but I'm like, uh, have any of us seen a photo? Seen I haven't just gotten. Back of her yes, that's all I rack. got. Oh, because you the minute. The minute that baby dropped into this into this plane into yeah. the sphere, I was like on the internet looking for oh pictures, and I hadn't I seen it. anything. But yeah, even everyone's house, like I'm like, uh, it's yeah. insane. And they're insane, and like maybe because I don't have a family, this is me and my dog. <laughs> but I'm like, this is insane. Like yeah. these are huge. Homes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> granted, the dollar does go further, further and it takes a being further. from there. Um, I know that it does go further, yeah. but it's still like to live 
Unlike an acre of land, which that's these... That's That's a pretty penny. Yeah, the only thing that I thought that Marlo had her on... The money, she's already talking about problems with the money. Should yeah. she have not spent on the wedding? Fine, but not my business, right? But I'm already there. I'm already there with her that there's money problems. Uh -huh. The car got repoed. Cars get repoed. You know, mm -hmm. like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. the, I think the only thing mm -hmm. that really got me, which I feel like we haven't gotten that yet, is, like, she has a full relationship in Los Angeles with a woman. Wait, that what? isn't. Huh? Did that come up? Yeah. What? Why are you guys looking at me like I'm crazy? I love we're all like. Wait a minute. Uh, Hello? Am I? Wait, am, what, have I gone rogue? Wait. Have I made up that, a, a. No, did that happen? I can't even Marlo remember. Marlo said, she said she has a full lesbian relationship. Oh, yes. But we never got into it. But that's the only thing that I thought she really had on her. Does she, though? Do we have any... Well, we ne she didn't mention it. Nobody circled back to it. Because I thought the only real kind of like... It's when people start to lie. Yeah. Yeah. And so when, when, when Eva was saying like, oh, we have to get out of my house because I just don't like it anymore. Okay. That's when I started to go, uh, oh, right. as opposed to like, hey, I think we're going to move. Like, this is just not the right place. Like the, the rush, like, we just don't like it. So we're going to move in our house and treat right. it. Like, I'm just not, I don't like this house anymore. Mm, like yeah. then we're, when we're the cup, they always say the cover up is worse than the crime. Right. It is. And here is that thing yeah. where it's like she's pedaling so fast that now I'm like, okay, what yeah, is what going, what really is going, going on? on. Mm -hmm. So it's tough to have it right after your Curiouser heads. and curiouser. We have, I think, one more episode. Yes. We have a week. Yeah, the finale is this Sunday. Yeah, and then we have the reunion, which Can't looks wait. good. Portia's okay. never looked more gorgeous. She's about to pop in the reunion picture that I saw and just looks gorgeous. Beautiful. She's, I mean, I'm, I love her. I love, I love Portia. Yeah, I, love her. I think she's so funny. She's so funny. I feel like I love her journey yes. and her transformation. From, from where she was where when she, she was, was with Cordell. Oh, God. Good night, Cordell. Good night. To now. I mean, she is, she's so funny. Like, I love watching her. Like, anytime mm. she comes up, I'm like, I get excited. Me too. It's adorable. Well, and we were saying this the other week, which is not like, even when we don't have huge plots, like, we don't have that much plot this season in Atlanta, it doesn't matter because the personalities yeah. are just great. on Atlanta are just great. So the, the women are so watchable and so funny and so smart. I mean, that Shamar, you got to love Shamar. Even I, I, love I think Shamari. she's a great addition. I love, I love Shamar. I love her. I think she is gorgeous. I can't really? take my eyes off Shamar. I, think I mean, she's, she's yeah, I think she's cute. I like her. She's just rough around the edges. She's yeah. like, oh, she's scrappy. I think and she, I yeah. like that. I think she is a gay woman. For y yeah, sure. Absolutely. For sure. And deeply bisexual. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. And I and I want that for her. I do too. Yeah. You know, I feel like if, I wish she was in a marriage. And, and they tried. I know that they tried. But I do think she needs more than her yeah. husband. I just love that she gets drunk to the point where she throws up. It's so outrageous. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, she makes it okay where we're like, yeah, yeah. like that still happens. <laughs> yes. Like, and like she yeah. feels free to do like I love her for that, that she's just like, whatever. Like she's she has twins. I love yeah. that excuse too. I can't wait to have twins to go. <laughs> I've got, I'm a mother of twins. Right. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm a mother of twins. I, I, I love this, there's her. no other. Like she's like, this I, is I, it. I just I'm a mother of twins. Like yeah. I'm like, yes. And like I just something about her. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's like the scrappy kind of just extra rawness. Yeah, I love her. I'm I'm here for her. She's and she cute. has a beautiful singing voice. Tanya. I was just going to say. Is it Tanya or Tanya? Tanya. Tanya See, when we have to ask that question. Then we know. Not, then we got to let her oh, go. I feel like Lyric might have her affection Tanya. for her. What, what are your... I, I have You nothing. know what? It's weird because like... Tanya. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like... Okay. I like Tanya, mm -hmm. but I don't know why. <laughs> because I of her like, hibachi room? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean that got everyone. Because Tanya, to me, it's interesting that she is just so excited and happy for everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's how they edit her, but it's almost like, <laughs> exactly. like Tanya. Like, girl, like, even like Eva's, like, bachelorette party in Japan, and we'd be like, girl... Girl, why you got this? Girl, why you got with these wigs? Like something about Tanya is just like happy to be there. Yeah, where I'm like, I don't get it. I don't know who she is yet. I yes, don't know. Who I think she that's is. what it, like it's everything is just like ha like it's like what we're getting is just like I feel like surface with Tanya. Yeah, where it's like pleasant and happy and happy mm -hmm. to be here and happy and everyone's friend and everyone's friend and poking everybody. Hello, little girl. <laughs> Versus like, what's really going on, Tanya? Like, I want to know Tanya. Yes, like, I, I hear you. We, we we just haven't like. 
peel the onion. And, and how I, I don't know that there's anything in the onion. You, we just, will we give her one more season? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I feel like she's had her time. You and she did. I mean, especially after that little bout with um, Nini. And when she kept like getting butt hurt about the husband comment, yeah, where even that really made me go like, Daniel, like what? You got nothing. Why? Like why that? Because it's like even from the outside, it's like it was such a comment of like, or it may not be him. But it's like also you're Nini's friend. You know she's going through something. Don't take it personal. Like right. I know. Yeah. It's so yeah. Like I. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I so I feel like you're on my side. You, yeah. you, you'd give her another season, D. No, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm all <laughs> set. I, I feel like you have your season to do your thing. Uh-huh. And, and if you don't give I us something. I mean, not. guess what? Tinsley of New York. I didn't think she had a great first season, and she's given us gifts beyond compare. Right. So, you know, you it's not that it can't happen, but if I'm if I'm running the network, yeah. I'm moving on. Yeah. I mean, even the other girl... Joanna, Joanna came oh, in. Oh, she gave me Joanna. a lot. I, you know what? I know more about her, and I care about more her yeah. than her. When Joanna comes on, I'm like, what's going to happen? Exactly. I'm like, so like, ooh. I'm excited. You know I'm me. scared. I'm intrigued. I'm scared. I'm intrigued. She's dime piece. She, yes, wanna, she's giving me some fashion. Yeah. Like, she's. She's like. I'd say make her a friend of next season. Yeah. Like, more. Give us more time I with her. I want more Joanna. Yes. Because yeah. she. Your girl, right? She I'm goes, so like, I'm your girl. I'm your girl, Joanna. You know me. You know me. Yeah, I love you know me. <laughs> when yes. when someone does it, you know, like I love to be like, and I've I've felt that way before. You, you know, know like me? you know you, you know, know me. me. I'm Danielle with the scoliosis. Yes. <laughs> She's like, um, you were a friend of a friend. friend. No, but you know but me. You, She's like, like I, give me I, more details. I, how I know you. You you know me. It's like no, just give us a hint. <laughs> you know me. You yeah. know why you know me. Like she I, just felt like whatever she did in that time, her presence should have been felt. Yes, and like it's not. That's that. Not enough. It's something right. about that makes her it's so good. great. No, like, I love the work we've done here tonight, guys. Yeah, just the sheer like, mm -mm. guys. What a thrill to have Lyric. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I had so much fun. Yes, and your knowledge of Atlanta and what you what you brought forward was Whoa. interesting. Thank you. And I want to say your Instagram, uh, at Lyric Lewis, yes. is your Instagram. Yes. So everyone, look her up there. Watch AP Bio on NBC Thursday nights. At 8.30, watch AP Bio, all the things. Um, Hulu stream it. Yes. And also, like, talk to me on the Insta. I will talk back on Instagram. On Twitter, you oh, will. Fun. It'll be hard to catch me in the streets, but on Instagram, okay. I am hot in those streets. <laughs> hot. All right, we're going to take a little break, and then we'll come right back with some New York. Guys, Lyric Lewis, she was amazing. Uh, thank you that. so much, Lyric, for coming. Her Atlanta knowledge really gave me some insight, I would say, that I didn't have. Um, guys, check her out. AP Bio, uh, Thursday nights, NBC, and go to her Instagram, at Lyric Lewis. Guys, she's fantastic. Now, should we talk a little bit of New York? We must. I would like to. <laughs> what a strong start. I love New York, though. I don't know. You're worried we don't have anything, do we? Well, we have we have a storyline that's come with us from last season. That's never a good sign. Yeah. So I'm concerned. But Sonia got tongue down in the beginning. Okay, now this <laughs> is a, a shock to the system. I know. This was a true shock to me because it seemed to me a stranger that we have never seen before. Not a friend of Sonia's, like nothing. No. Sonia didn't know her from, from a man on the street, God, a no. woman on the street. And the woman comes in. It seems to be a fan saying like, hey, Sonia, they grab each other and start to tongue each other in a way I, we've never seen on this show never and we've seen some we've things on this seen show some things i mean it was quite passionate quite sensual um they were they were the only two people in the room oh you know <laughs> <laughs> you know in that club or wherever, wherever we, were. we were uh yeah i mean i was i think we were all tinsley in that moment sort of like what's happening as shocking I, I was shocked i i screamed yeah and then i <laughs> thought like 
oh yeah, this it feels like coming home. Like it didn't feel unusual. Like it, it, the, I think the movement was shocking, but then it then it sat real nice. Oh, you mean like so? Th- this is where Sonia, Sonia should be. This is this is a Tuesday. Yeah, this is a Tuesday this for is a Sonia. Tuesday at it, this is a Tuesday at seven thirty. Yeah, like, you know wasn't a surprise to Sonia. It was shaking hands to Sonia. Right. These are how nights go. Yeah. We have a lot of different people. We have a lot of different uh, We have a lot of different tongues in our mouths. We do. And we do. that is Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a decent Tuesday. Yeah. It's a normal, norm core, <laughs> as the kids call it, Tuesday. When she said, at the end, she was she was sort of she was t- it took her breath away. Yeah. It was a she it was a good Tuesday. It was a good, <laughs> it was Tuesday, a good Tuesday, but not a like a different Tuesday. No, God no. Usually it's just someone she knows more, a right? Little a little. More. Well, yeah. I don't know about that because we also have. I think there's usually more time before we get to this moment, and not much. Not much. Fifteen minutes tops. tops. Yeah, fifteen to an hour. Max an hour? Ma- max in. In. That's, if she, that's if they get it in. Right. You know and, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. These women work quickly. I have to say that I was thrilled by a new character that joined us. Go on. On the show. Barbara? No. No, no, no. Okay. No. And that is the character of Dorinda's real estate agent. Okay. Danielle. That is a part, and I wrote this down. I said, this is a part for Danielle. It is coming for her. That woman is you. You are her. This is a part for you in the future. Now, this woman was 80 if she's a day. <laughs> okay. Thin as a rail, like strung together with twine <laughs> just like had on a base coat of makeup that yeah. was uh, much darker than her actual tone sure. and the fact that you think that that's who i have coming for me i thank you you're welcome because i am obsessed with yeah, her no she was everything uh, she walked in and i stood up straight mm-hmm. and i said who is this woman it's the woman who's lived i want to know more about her she had a, a deep voice. voice she so sort of was giving us a slight elizabeth home yes like interpretation yes. yes like i just seem to know dorinda since dorinda was a child yeah she's known like, yeah. but to know dorinda since dorinda's a child yeah like that's an older gal yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> she's done some time. She's lived some life, That's right. and I want to know more. And I ask people, anyone, people have been sliding into my DMs lately. Okay, mostly with a sense of shame. <laughs> I, I always like to say it's like um, it's like penthouse forum when they slide <laughs> into my DMs. It's like I've never done this before. Right. I'm I like I'm sh- I've never direct message someone about a housewife before but i feel the need to tell you something i like that and and it's almost like they're so ashamed that they're like husbands in the other room and they're like in a bathroom being like i'm brushing my teeth and really they're damning me like that's, that's the feeling i get when people dm me but i love it and i thank them all someone let me know more about this woman someone do right. some research i'd love to have more detail or bravo i'd like to know about her and her friends and i want this woman's something. friend group oh <sighs> That would be a joy, and that's an area that's worth exploring. I would like a whole show about that, like a new Golden Girls. Yeah, for but real, but, real. but reality. Yeah, and they don't have to live together. I just want an older group, and an I don't want, set. like, isn't it so funny we're all fighting and dying? No. Like, I don't wa- I want these women that the are town, living a life. Showing property, yes. all of it. Property. I, property ladies, instead <laughs> of, like, property, but, like, property, property broads. Property broads. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly who they are. Property broads. broads. These are broads. And to they still don't... be working. That's right. To still have the, the hustle. Mm-hmm. When you can barely uh, walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when your bones don't want to. Uh, when your bones are more dust than yeah. bone. 
Oh dear. I love this woman and I'd, I'd like to know everything about her. And thank you for the compliment of You're saying welcome. like, I, I hope I'm as spry and mm -hmm. as much personality and as much makeup and as much her hair was. And I mean, I think this is a, I, I will say it's like, this is a part for you. Like thank this you. is, and it's not now, but it's later. And you, you must find, you must either your own, write it yourself Happy or to. find whatever you've got to do. This is a part you will just soar in. Thank you. And I'm wondering, and this, I'm also wondering if somebody wants to slide in your DMs with this, it's like, it, when you go to New York for a live show, like, can you have her on? Because I know you don't funk with housewives too often in live shows, but this feels this like, woman. This is, would, she doesn't even, she's never seen Real Housewives, nor, no. nor will she. Now, I'll say we probably won't be back for another year. So if this woman is makes still it, with us. <laughs> And Which I believe she's she going to be outlive us all. Yeah. She's I would love to. If anyone can connect me to I, I just love her on the show. I love her. Definitely. I'd like to know, you know, she has lived, she has seen New York through all its real estate yeah. times, like since the turn of the century, right. I believe. Like, what has she seen? <laughs> what those eyes yeah. have seen? I, I love her. And Agreed. I thank Real Housewives for introducing us to these wild characters. Now, we also saw that um we saw dale we saw dale and tinsley and for dale what a relationship to not only show up in tinsley's ex-husband's new wife's shoes bold but then to talk about their child which is all that tinsley wants yeah. in this world now, this woman is an assassin dale yeah dale is like what she is doing to her daughter is is brutality you know, she and she enjoys it. She likes it. Yeah. And it's fun to watch. It is it's fun to watch. Heartbreaking. And you see why Tinsley is who she oh, is. Oh, absolutely. Now. But their codependent relationship, I also think there is love in this codependent to relationship. No, they absolutely. It's not like completely. They do seem to be the best of friends. They, seem, <laughs> they have a cute relationship. I it's very just... postcards from the edge. Hmm. A little bit. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen the Me movie. too. But <laughs> you know who I, Yeah. But it has like a Carrie Fisher. Um, Debbie mm -hmm. Reynolds, R.I.P. Right. Quality, and yes. I do believe, and and I say this, and I hope it doesn't sound harsh, that when if Tinsley were to go first, oh. Dale would follow, yeah, <laughs> like quickly behind, <laughs> right, in well, holding sort of, a picture of her eggs, yeah, and, like, like and, and with the shoes on and the yeah. eggs and the whole thing, and just yes. jump right in. And I, cast I hope that my daughter and I have that relationship. Oh, Danielle, right, well, no, I mean, please. I don't want my daughter to go for it, but I'm saying like that is. You will not do to your daughter. No, what I won't Dale. do to my daughter what a Dale. Okay. But I, <laughs> you, can I say you something? both want to go. You want to go at the same time. I want to go at the same time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to live as long as she lives. Okay. Or the minute she goes from okay, the earth, I, I go have this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, in terms of codependent, I, I try and be a really good and thoughtful mother, but I also try and have discipline. But I, another thing that happened was that. Sonia called someone her assistant mm. this time when they went. And I was like, does that mean she's paying this person? Never. 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 <laughs> Never. <laughs> she didn't pay that. But then why are they assistant and not an intern? Well, I, I don't know. But I think those can be interchangeable terms for Sonia. <laughs> okay. There's no way she's paying. I know. I didn't think so. I okay. hope. I mean, come what on. can help? It's a pipe dream. At this point. Yeah, I mean, she, she she certainly hasn't moved up in financials. No, she's moved. So much. she's moved down. There's no way. Watching that apartment rot from within. Not that the apartment, that townhouse. Oh, the townhouse. <laughs> the basement of the townhouse will haunt my dreams. Oh. It is, it is rotting from within. It is rotting it from is within. A, it is a lie. A carcass. You know those horror movies where like the house has a heart and it's an actual like it's a demon. Yeah. That is what that townhouse it is. is. It's a demon, and it the basement is the is the dark soul of the demon, and it is rotting. And I'm not someone who's like, oh, I know how to keep everything up. Oh, I but, certainly don't. But I seems like things are so much harder for her. I mean, the cur like curtains. she wants to do one side of a curtain and I, not the other side. It's like she's she makes it difficult oh, in yeah. a way that doesn't. She doesn't seem to need to be this difficult. She shortcuts everything. Like, exactly. I have a feeling that Sonia doesn't even do the wash. She just does, like, what I did, like, when I was in college, which is, like, turn the underwear to the other side. 
<laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Like, I, that I, yeah. is who Sonia is as a woman in her 50s still. Like, she right. can't quite. Like, those dirty ice cubes. It's yeah. just, it's just. Tough. It's tough for her. That basement was really upsetting. Yeah, and I'm glad like, she's out of there because oh, it is God. that house is alive and it is killing. <laughs> and it's like it will it's a heart eat attack. you if you don't. Oh, if, like you die or it dies. One or yeah, the it's, other. It's in the house. Whatever it is, <laughs> it's, it's here. I mean, it's alive. It's calling from within it. the house. Yeah, it's scary. And then when Sonia said that um, Timsey wasn't fuckable, I was like, that's a pretty good assessment. Yes, although. There is a world in which, because she's so desperate, mm-hmm. that she turns tricks. <laughs> you mean, like, it, in it, the bedroom? Yeah. She may not be able to catch D in the way that Sonia does, uh-huh. or whatever, any sort of genitalia. <laughs> but once she's in that sack, I think there's a good chance that she's really... Mm-hmm. turning it out yeah no i agree with you just pulling them in might be a little harder yeah speaking of catching d right ramona's date oh yes oy vey, it's me. Oh, it's me. Oy vey. <laughs> oy vey. now that was tough dark that was giving me like full-on flashbacks and just it, it's the worst date yeah that guy he was so upsetting look he looked like a cartoon skeleton like have you seen the movie coco i mean i the disney like what the day of the dead yes i feel like i'm gonna be too sad watching it but everybody said to watch it's it but i haven't movie. gotten I there yet it. yeah one of my daughter's favorite but beautiful i i know but, the but if you saw yes. a, a, a cartoon skeleton in real life you would run the other way and that is right we she was on a date with coco yeah and uh, you know one thing I realized was he, what did he say? He was engaged eight times. Ugh. And I'm like, well, that doesn't wear well. Certain things, men have a lot in their corner, right, in life. Women can wear engaged eight times oh. a lot better than a dude. Yeah. And, and it really stunk. No, up. I would be, she, but I like Ramona. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't turn it on. Like when Ramona turns it oh, on, it's you- on. And when it's off, it's dead. She got a bottle of wine out of it. Oh, she did. Oh, she's always going to get something. Ramona's going to get a bottle of wine. I was wine. like, she's not getting a glass, she's getting a bottle. Yeah. You know? Because she's like, I got to get drunk to get through this. Mm-hmm. But it made me sad for her. Right. I guess, I mean, she's fine. Yeah. But, but it was it was rough. It, you sh- it, no woman should be in that position. It's tough. It was tough mm-hmm. to watch. Someone tweeted at me that the person, sorry to backtrack, that yeah. Sonia was kissing. At first, they thought it was um, Luann's daughter, oh, Victoria. My, she looks exactly like who, whatever glimpse we got of her, the side. Like, that's Victoria. That is so Victoria. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would that's be a, a twist. Really like to see. A twist. Yeah. But a welcome twist. Then welcome we have twist. something to do this summer. Yeah. I mean, that, then we have something. Then we got something. We now got we're lot. cooking. Now we're kicking with gas. Yeah. Last thing I will say about New York, unless you had thoughts, is Dorinda is in a tough spot. Mm-hmm. She's in a dark place, and it's getting darker than it's been in a while. Yeah. The fact that she wouldn't apologize to Luann, and, and they've both done things Absolutely. to each other. But the fact that there was, she won't even apologize for screaming Giovanni sort of like during her cabaret mm-hmm. show. That's like on the, the book. That's on the, the. We can roll the tape on that. Yeah, I mean, she did. She did sort of harass her, screaming uh, Giovanni, <laughs> like heckle Giovanni at yeah. her. It's been it, seen. It, there's no world in which that's okay to yell Giovanni at a performer. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I'd welcome it. You know, <laughs> right? Except if you're at a bitch sesh live show. Yeah, <laughs> then you can. Um, but, but the fact that she can't, like, there's so much going on. With Dorinda. Yeah, and even the like the origin story of their fight with the, at the table when when really all Luann said was pretty much like pump the brakes on the drinking. Yeah, you're 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 starting to and she and she's and not she, wrong. I she mean, was, right. nobody likes Luann's holier than a, thou attitude, and she gets that a lot. But it yeah. is just kind of who she is, right? But even that, which 
I'm like, I can't believe Dorinda went, has gone so hard, you know, because it wasn't a, it really wasn't a crazy thing that Luann said. And she just went, went for the jugular. She sure did. I mean, Luann, I was thinking of her, you know, class with the countess and now she's got a parole officer. That's quite a journey. I mean, that's a perfect journey. That's a real where else are we going to get that except for the Real Housewives? Yeah. And I appreciate this. Me too. Oeuvre. And what happened? She she seemed to really nail that first soup scoop, like the first scooping of and the then soup. And it was downhill from wow, there. Wow, did it go sideways. It was unruly. The she, double dipping was. <laughs> she couldn't. It was as soup, if it was. The soup looked delicious, if you ask I, me. <laughs> I would have gone for it. I don't understand why they couldn't double dip, though. Uh, for another day another day another time but she did seem to get out of control yeah and then i uh, will say we never got the setup for the gangster meal so when everybody came in the gangster meal i didn't know what anyone was talking about or maybe wasn't listening at yeah that no it was strange and it was very uh, it didn't work all right beverly hills i'm not gonna say much about beverly hills there's not much to say no this week um we don't we have applegate Hmm. Wow, I like that. I, I just came up with that. No, you, you, your eyes just lit up <laughs> with pride. We have Lucy Juicy Applegate, and who cares? But we did have a wedding. We did. We did a beautiful wedding, and we were not there. No. But you know who was? Oh, one Jerry O'Connell and Rebecca oh, Romaine, and course. I screamed to see you know them come on the screen because that's like. We know Jerry. He's been on the podcast. So it was almost like he came, f- like went from the nook into, the, <laughs> like dove into the screen, like in a movie, like in Pleasantville or something. And I was very excited by that. And so I asked Jerry, you know, if he could pipe in and just tell us, you know, Rebecca, if he had any random thoughts. And he obliged. Oh, fantastic. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Casey. Hello, ladies. It's uh, Jerry O'Connell. And Rebecca Romaine. O'Connell. O'Connell. Yeah, Rebecca Romaine O'Connell. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are here to talk about Denise and Aaron's wedding. Special day. Yes. It was thrown together quickly. Uh, we I, were we were invited um, three, 36, hours, no. Three hours 36 before. 36 hours. Ceremony. I think like a day and a half before it. Right. We got um, a text. In their defense, in their defense, they, I mean, as we saw on the show, it happened pretty quickly. Yes. Very quickly. And by the way, it was impressive. Very impressive. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, it was really a beautiful day, and it was kind of special to be there. Very hot. It was a very hot day. It was a little warm, but it was a September, um, warm September day September here in Southern 8th, Cal. It was very warm. I am going to jump up. We're going to jump around a little bit. Okay, yeah, sure. Because it was so hot. And the wedding did not start on time. Right. There was a lot of, you know, mingling with the housewives, which right. was very exciting. I became very friendly with Lisa Vanderpump, yeah. which was thrilling. You guys exchanged numbers. We exchanged numbers. We we were playing. We were playing the whole time. And I just... I, I saw over your shoulder you were sending each other bit emojis. We were having a blast. It was so hot, she actually wiped sweat from my face underneath my sunglasses never forget that yeah. it was very exciting um, but it was funny watching well the... watching it i'm now realizing lisa didn't want to talk to anybody else there because they were feuding they've been fighting right um it was so interesting to see that i mean i remember we were watching it you went oh that's why lisa that's why was lisa so wanted, a... that's why she wanted to hang out with me she didn't want to hang out with anybody else right right um Wow, it was, uh, I do want to apologize. There was that very funny moment where you and Erica Jane were both wearing black jumpsuits. We were watching the action and you and I didn't, we were like being very, Oh, we, we were being very polite about, we We didn't want to get we into the middle of action. We didn't want to get into the middle of the action because they were clearly carrying out their storylines, which included whatever drama was going on, which we didn't know about. This right. is last September. Right. Um, Another thing that I found to be very interesting also is how storylines are found. Uh, not storylines, almost like scene points. I mean, you know, the helicopters were flying over that wedding, and it's so funny how it became a bit in the scene. Right. Um, how it became actually a, a, a major part of the, the action. I remember wondering if that was going to make it into the cut. 
And I was glad that that became like a little yeah. bit of a point. Yeah, but it was really interesting to see how, I mean, it, you know, reality television is based in sort of circumstances that happen right on the fly mm -hmm. there, you know? Um, it was a magical experience. It was our uh, royal wedding. <laughs> I mean, for me, as far as I'm concerned, it was, uh, it was our Meghan and Harry oh, right there. Oh, man. Denise and Aaron looked great. They did. They didn't. So they used um, they used dubbed music last night. Right. In the, in the in, episode, in, they used dubbed music because they obviously they couldn't get the rights. So in the real wedding, they walked down the aisle to a metal version of Nothing Else Matters, uh, which is, you know, I love that song. I, I, I don't remember. How does it and go? And nothing else matters. You know? Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, but they had to use, like, fake reality they show like fake <laughs> heavy metal <laughs> music reality show heavy metal music. right 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 rebecca and i got our our housewives cherry pop yes, we did. yeah we were so excited <laughs> yesterday we were watching the episode and, and i was like sort of fast forwarding quickly through the commercials and rebecca was like oh my gosh is this is are we gonna be on this episode <laughs> i didn't and, like, even realize and the whole mood in the house changed even our kids came out and watched but um it was a it really it was a beautiful day and those two crazy kids were so happy that they found each other and they're a gorgeous couple and um it was a beautiful day right back and it was very exciting to see it all firsthand no no garbage people at all there at were no wedding. garbage all people fancy people very fancy um, i couldn't really tell who was i think dorit it felt like dorit was was a little short with, i guess short with Dor with uh with lisa Lisa, right? Yeah, I think I think they were arguing, but we weren't savvy to any of it. No, we, we didn't, didn't know. We didn't know. And I'm kind of glad that we didn't. No, I, I got to. Um, but next, we are so proud to announce we are going to Camille's wedding. Nope. I'm kidding. We're not. That's not happening. <laughs> I might, we might <laughs> I hang mean, out not outside. Yet. <laughs> oh, man. Wouldn't it be so great if we were invited to every Housewives wedding? I mean, Just like every dream. single one. It would one. be a dream. It would be oh, a dream. Oh, man. You know what? That should be a goal. That should be hashtag goals. Right. We try and get invited to Housewives right. wedding. All right. Uh. Love you, Casey. Love you, Danielle. Bye, ladies. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Rebecca. They were really out in the field. They truly yeah. were. It doesn't seem that they discovered anything that we didn't see on the screen, so nice to know that we weren't missing much, <laughs> but it's tough to know that Lisa's using you just because no one else will talk to her. Right, and she's like, this famous person will do. Yeah, this is, these famous people, they look <laughs> that, familiar to yeah, me. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Yeah. So... Good to know. I did enjoy Rena and the paparazzi. I yeah, mean, her she's way. there's never a woman that has been. She is a hustler. She's a she's built for this town. She'll be here when, when the when it's just the roaches. Yeah. It'll be the roaches and Rena. It really and truly, this is there's very few people who are literally constructed for this, and she is one. Yeah, but I but so I don't really have much to say about. Beverly Hills this week, but other than Denise is a dream. She's a dream. She's a breath of fresh. She's up for she anything. One hundred. Uh, I mean, she doesn't even care if Charlie brought a prostitute as a date. To that's her what wedding. you call when people say they're chill. Uh -huh. That's chill. Yeah. You know, you don't care if your ex brings a prostitute to your new wedding. That's chill. Yeah. That's not giving a funk. No. You know what I mean? Like you have really, really, really figured something out yeah do you know what i'm saying i wish i had what she had but she's you know it's like you have to come back from basically death yeah. you have to have seen your maker yeah. which i believe she did with charlie sheen like you lived uh -huh. through hell cut like Remember how in like Shawshank Redemption he's like he dug through shit to end up in Ziwatanehu? Like if that, like, that's what he was yeah. doing, you know? It's like she earned it. Yeah, she and earned it, and she earned that big cock. I'll say she she came out and to like got a big slapped, old, slapped among uh, slapped, slapped a, a cock, slapped a huge <laughs> man cock in front Great. of her face, and she's happy as a clam now. And I'm so proud I'm of so her. So happy for her, happy and for I her. I do. A God, does she refresh me? Ugh. love her. She's gorgeous. Loved her dress. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I'm trashy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was hot. It showed. She's such so sexy. Yeah. Well, she's a she's a woman who. And enjoys a romp. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Should we take a little break? Yeah. So we're back with Vanderpump. I 
liked this episode. I love the opening of Tom Tom. Yes, we've had a soft opening already. Yeah. So some would say like, hey, like we've opened. We've opened. <laughs> We're in. Just Not wait. yet. No. But when they came in, in that sidecar that not rented but bought very expensive sidecar 18 grand i mean <laughs> wow strange, strange purchase but i cried i cried tears of joy i was happy for them it's so ridiculous these men truly they they are so not for me i know you and casey find them attractive i, I no, i don't find oh not not to, one of the toms i do you, one, one of the there. toms yeah. that's what they, they literally they dehydrate me <laughs> i i find i think you know because of all the alcohol well that like it's the eighteen thousand on this stupid bike and yeah. and and the leather i mean i can't it's so juvenile but when he didn't put gas in it and his <laughs> partner was sitting in a sidecar and the shot of him i was crying tears i mean it's was it's comedy it was beautiful and they took it so seriously and then lisa was in the sidecar that was later fun. i ha- i laughed i laughed I, like laughed. I was there I, th- I will take sidecar content whenever they want to give it to me <laughs> well, more I mean, sidecar i was laughing as if i were there enjoying the no it was truly delightful. i was like we're having a wild time me and my yeah. friends <laughs> <laughs> like you ever catch yourself smiling yes, watching and you feel so pathetic <laughs> that was what i was doing <laughs> we all the like it was so sad but it was so enjoyable um now here's something the the katie and and tom stuff real brutal to watch but but i feel like he she should have given him that night a little more was my feeling on it because he this this is the the best he's ever gonna get like he has his own restaurant he could have never done that on his own he's shocked by he is shocked by his own luck because it's luck he had no skills he's not a bartender even like the other tom right so like he basically he is here because his name is tom yeah that's like that's the talent and he's cute to look at Mm -hmm. but there's nothing else he adds to this formula wow so he is this is it this is the top of the top i believe for him has this restaurant so maybe he wasn't paying attention to her but like give he's busy he's excited he's probably wasted like i just felt like give him this night and then he happened to get the two hours on a plane not even like probably two hours on a flight to mexico and he got first class like who fucking cares do you think your husband would even say like do you want it he might but he uh, the way that i would have worked like my husband's so tall so sitting in regular class which we mostly do is I would have given it to him just for comfort. No, no, that makes sense. Um, so that, but I do think like he might have, but he, eh, like I wasn't offended that he took it. I didn't, wasn't offended that he took it. I feel As it like was it's given to weird, him. To and she not, would have done the same. I feel like it's he to me. He never looked her way the entire episode, and I found it. I felt for I. I don't. I don't care for her, but I did feel for her in the episode because I felt like her husband isn't including her in his thoughts. Like she's literally not a he. He was like, "Oh, hi, Bubba," <laughs> when you <laughs> that was know, a great impression. <laughs> when she had been there the whole night, and it was this. It was this. She just walked in. I mean, I don't think he sees her. I don't think he pays a lick of attention to her then why is he married to her i i well the, you know the why are these people there's <laughs> not you know when you, if we look at all question, of these yes. people why are they with each other not one is a maybe stassi and her boyfriend uh-huh. i jacks and Brittany, as fucked up as they are Makes for sense. them, it that relationship makes sense to me. I don't think it's healthy. Right. I think it makes sense. I, I'm not. I, I don't disagree. But then uh, the Ariana and Tom, that relationship doesn't make sense to me on the screen. But I've heard, I guess, from Casey because you know she talked about the screen. He loves. <laughs> I'll her, watch her right. live. He says he loves her. I'm like, he loves okay, her. Okay, great. He loves her. But you know, it's an odd. None of them seem to be having sex, right? That seems to be a problem in a lot of the relationships. Right. It's like, oh, we never get to have sleep together. And they're right there, you yeah. know. Where 
So I don't know. I, I felt for Katie. I think, oh, God, what did that one say? You know, I, I want, I'm well, like, Katie said to him, well, he goes, she started at the end of the episode. She's like yelling at him. She's like, just listen to me. Listen, bitch. She's so broken. Like it, in that moment, you really feel like yeah. this is not a performance. Like she's truly hurt. And she's like, listen to me. If you would just listen to me. And he's like, I don't like the sound of your voice. Jesus. When my husband and I fight, like we fight. But that's so mean. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. I don't think he cares for her. I don't think he likes her. Oh. Now, I come to Vanderpump mostly when I'm going to do this show. Uh -huh. So I'm not as dedicated. So I don't know it inside and out. Mm -hmm. But from what I've seen, I do not see a man who loves a woman. <laughs> Not I like know. Andy Garcia Not and like, Meg Ryan. Right. Yeah, different. Mm -hmm. I don't see a man who loves a woman. Wow. They are alcoholics like Meg Ryan is in that movie. Does that help us at all? Wait, Danielle, uh -huh. the most terrifying thing I've ever heard in my life was easy breezy lemon squeezy. <laughs> probably said it and that's what makes lemon, me laugh. is that is is that a free yeah easy oh, breezy lemon squeezy oh, everyone's nodding okay i never heard that before <laughs> that Kristen's easy she was like i want to be easy breezy lemon squeezy uh, was like, well I when shook, Kristen says anything it yeah. sounds weird and terrifying but it i have shook heard that expression me to the bowl. what shook me to my core was watching lala pretend to host <laughs> <laughs> now look we're all under this thing that they wait for. like i yeah. believe the illusion but i really sat with myself in that yeah. moment when they're like well, lala's like i'm gonna wash the menus off and as a person who has hostess and wash many menus i just was like i don't believe you <laughs> like okay. at that moment is when i chose to like come into my body and be like that you're giving the performance of a lifetime, mm -hmm. Lala, and I still don't believe that you work at this restaurant because you're on private jets and have assistants. You are not waitressing for minimum wage right and, now. And not even waitressing. I mean, no, hosting, hosting. Which is really minimum yes, wage. Yes, which is nothing. I mean, is there a coat check? Can we get a tip? Like, it's just really... You can if maybe you take a to-go order, but she's not taking a to-go order. Right. And I don't think it's the kind of restaurant where, like, oh, if you slip me 100, I'll get you that table. Yeah. Like, that's not what will work. Those hostesses can make money yes this is and that's also feels like a different time i don't know if that's going on anymore right now no one ever slipped me a dime <laughs> <laughs> to get them a table you have to have that in your eyes that you will take the money i did i did yeah. i think i had just fear fear yeah i once had a table i had to apologize to a table because i didn't realize that they were sitting when i was saying they were sitting right behind me and I was telling a story how I had food poisoning the night before and how I was like just shitting everywhere and vomiting. Oh, yeah. And the story and then my boss came up to me. He's like, like the um, table is disgusting. Oh my <laughs> you God. To go and apologize to them because oh they God. heard your story of you shitting and vomiting and all that. So I had to go to the table. That's a tough <laughs> go, apology. I'm so sorry for my disgusting oh my conversation. God. <laughs> it was that's the most embarrassed I've ever like. And I think I was late twenties at the time, yeah. so I wasn't a child. I wasn't young. I was that really a real you. adult. Like some yeah. people have, like have kids at that age, and right. I was apologizing to a table. Oh God, for being disgusting, for <laughs> being a little filth pot, <laughs> a monster. Yeah, who spent the night shitting and vomiting. And was the understanding that it was from the food at that restaurant? I don't. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was that not wasn't part of you. That wasn't the problem. It was just like these people have come to eat here and, and you've disgusted little, them so much that they need an apology they, from our hostess. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Did you keep eyes up or eyes down? I wanted to, <laughs> eyes. Where were I eyes? I think I might have even started laughing during it because it's so absurd. <laughs> it's like we have to eat shit in life and apologize and you know take our lumps, but, but that's quote, lumpy. That's, <laughs> that's real lumpy. <laughs> 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 it was tough. Yeah, it was really tough. Um, and yeah, I guess that was Vanderpump Rules. I don't know if we have anything more to say. Um, yeah, I just thought that uh, it was a nice episode. I like to see. Oh, well, Sheena Shea is a really sad person, and when she said to that guy, when she was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna be away in Mexico," and he said, "I'm gonna block you on all social media." Well, as Maya Angelou says, when people <laughs> tell you their truth. Believe them. Believe them. <laughs> maybe it's not exactly the right quote but to tell you who they are who they are believe, believe them. them and i guess that's not exactly applicable but 
believe that statement because <laughs> that shit is real. He does not want he you. Doesn't like you. He doesn't. He's just having sex with you. I mean, I can't breathe watching her with this guy. It's we need Shira, the lighthouse yeah. cast. To get to, on the case to Sheena Shea. Sheena Shea needs the lighthouse. She needs to sit with the lighthouse and really get a tutorial and understand that this is not the way. You can have men just acting right. Yeah, you know, Sheena, you're a beautiful girl. She, yeah, and you're have, you have somewhat of a personality. I mean, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but it's, it's there. there. <laughs> it exists. It's there. And um, another tough moment was when um, Brittany. Because of her ulcer, said she will only drink tequila. And do you think she saw any irony in that? I, I didn't. Didn't I? Didn't. It's, she's she's I thinking think the she's, mixers are the problem. Is, is that what like she's like? Well, I just I'll take it straight and no I, mixers. The mixers are what well, are really I mean, look, eating. A, some juices can right. be acidic. Yeah, acidic. So, so I think she really was like the acid is the problem. Yeah, is the juice. The juice. Yeah, is the cranberry. Right. Or the orange. Yeah. Or the soda. Mm-hmm. And not and the not tequila. Right. So that was an interesting choice. Jack seemed concerned, but then he went right along with it. He sure did. So I love those crazy kids. Yeah. Deanna, thank you so did much. Did we do it? I think we did Wait, it Wait, hold all. on now. That's everything. We did it. We did it This all. was really had a blast. Thank you so much for coming and, and promote your show again for okay. us. Okay. Unsend is on Comedy Central, the web. Yes. <laughs> Go to the YouTube. For which do I- me a favor. Come to my Instagram at Deanna M. Chang. I'll have that link right in that bio and just click it. Is yeah. it a bio? Whatever it is. Sure. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. And please go because I own 15% of this show, as we know now. Because it was Morning because Daniel. Was morning That's Daniel. right. And Matt McConkie created it, produced by Paul Shear, starring our host, Joel Kim Booster, Fitch Sesh Fave, and Patty Harrison. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. And also, thank you, Lyric. And also, thank you, Casey, R.A.P. Casey. <laughs> and also, as Casey said at the beginning of the episode, we are so sorry to our San Francisco crowd that we cannot be there next week. And we're so upset that we have to postpone the show. We hate it. We are so excited to go to San Francisco. And I hate letting anyone down. And thank you all for coming and buying tickets. And we're going to be there June 1st. So if you can come back, your your tickets, you those, those are fine for June for june 1st and if not you'll get a full refund and we apologize and we hate this and we're so sorry um and we love you all and thank you lyra tonight and one more thing before you we go guys on april 1st it's the jason signs benefit extravaganza in la and new york and april 3rd in dc lots of amazing comedians performing and incredible prizes like tickets to snl the drag race finale impractical jokers live and a luxury stay in aruba all for a really great cause. So for more info, just check out the GoFundMe page for Jason Signs. That's spelled S-A-E-N-Z. It's for a really great cause for somebody in need. So check it out. Thanks, guys.